Hello guys, once again this is Lamin Sane of Code Logical and up until now we've been just ignoring this each item loop here that we're having in Ember templates that comes with the default AppKit installation. Okay, so in this tutorial video that will be no more as we're going to be looking at how to deal with models that is supplying real data to our applications. So to start with, um, I have created two routes here which is first model and second model okay so in our first model we're going to return an array so how you return a model in ember is inside your route um, function you just create a model um, property and it has to be a function that returns something so in this case we'll just return an array so we'll say item one item two and item three so in our second route, let's return uh, a model which instead of being uh, an array, we're just going to return an object, which is say a person with a first name of let's say Lamine, that's my name, and last name of Sunny. okay so right and not to forget to return the object all right so that's it I will have a first name first model route and a second model route okay so now let's go in our browser and navigate to those routes and we shall see empty screen so here we are on the home page let's just type in the URL first model and we see an empty um, space which is rendering the default template and did I mention that when you don't specify a template Ember just puts in an empty screen there and um, let's type in second model as well you should see the empty screen as well okay so let's go ahead and create those templates so we can showcase the data coming in from them okay so here we are in our index.html file and I've created two templates one with an ID of first model and a second one with an ID of second model okay and in here we can do a loop as you can see being done at the bottom here so we can say since that route is returning an array we can say each item in um, model we can say just display item all right let's put that in a p tag all right and secondly here let's just say since we have first and last name we can just say in the first one display first name because we're being returned an object secondly we just want to display the last name And if we've done everything right, I'm going to first model should display that loop. So let's refresh the page. And we got an error, pass error, pass error on line four. So let's see what happened there. So I did not close the for each loop. So we should have a forward slash each here. So back in our browser we refresh and we should see the item showing up okay so we have item one item two item three let's visit our last more second model page and we should see first and our last name as you can see lamin and sanes <laughs> okay so that works all right so before we wrap up this lesson i want to make one quick distinction you did notice that we did not create controllers for this template here the first model template and the last model template okay and the reason why this works actually is if you remember what I said that you if you don't create controllers or routes Ember goes ahead and does that for you so there are two types of controllers which we will touch deeply in another video but for now um, the two types are well there are three types actually there's a generic controller which we will used in the last video and there's one which is called object controller 
which is just for displaying if your model type is an object then you use that so you have to know firsthand what kind of model to expect and the last one is array controller which is used if your model type is an array so in this case ember is creating an array controller for our first model template and it's creating an object controller for us in here so if we quickly just run over to our ember inspector here we can just see that we, since we are in the second model and that's returning an object ember automatically created for us an object controller and since the application is neither of them um, ember is creating a generic controller for the application automatically but since we are creating returning an object it created an object controller for us so let's navigate to the first model and we should see that ember is creating an array controller for us so if you can see now that controller here has changed to array controller which corresponds to the route of first name first model and a template of first model so that's it guys for this tutorial video i hope it was helpful and i'll see you soon thanks for watching bye bye